Hey guys, I'm Katie at Screenscape, and today we're going to talk about how to set up and customize your playlist. So a playlist uh, is what you put your media into. It's how you organize it so that it will play in the order you want and look exactly how you want on your TV screen. So where you want to be is on our app under the playlist tab. So once you have media created, go ahead and click over to playlists. To create a new empty playlist, you're going to click the plus icon. And just like that, here's an empty playlist just waiting for us to add content. So over here on the right, you want to be under the media tab and you click this blue plus button, which will open a drawer that shows you every piece of media that you have created on this account. So you can go ahead and pick what you like. Since we're getting into the Christmas season, I'm going to make a Christmas one. So you just click each piece of media that you want. If you select one too many, all you have to do is click it again and it'll remove it. Once you've got all the pieces that you want, go ahead and click this add button. Perfect, just like that, you've got every piece that you want in your playlist. On the right side of each piece of media, you can grab this handle and reorder, reorder them. So if you want things to play in a specific order, just like that. Right here, you can customize the duration of the media item on the screen. So this one will play for 15 seconds, this one 30, maybe I wanna change this one just to 10, just be a quick one. Uh, so that's totally customizable. Right here is the full screen toggle mode. Um, so what that is, is if you turn this button on, on your media, it's gonna bump it up to fill the complete screen of your TV. You can also turn it off. Uh, so you can have some media items that go full screen and then the other ones can just go back to whatever layout you have. So layout refers to how your widgets fall on the screen. Widget being the weather, your city, the news, and clock. To customize this, you want to switch over to this property tabs right there. And you'll see we've got layout and theme. So first, go ahead and click into that layout drop down. The default one is Smith, but you can change it. If you see one that catches your eye, we're gonna be constantly up updating and adding more layout designs here. This bottom one is full screen. And so when you select a layout, it applies it to every piece of media that you've got loaded. So once you've picked a layout that you're happy with, we're gonna go down to this theme drop down. And this is where you can customize the rest of the screen. So you have a background image where this wood grain is, and then your widget colors are represented in these color swatches here. So go ahead and click through these, check them out. Uh, we're gonna be also updating these and adding more um, options all the time, so stay tuned for those. Uh, once you find one that you like, all you have to do is head on back here and it's all set, you can see them all loaded there with the colors that you selected. This bar, of course, is where you name your playlist. I'm all about tidy housekeeping, so that's a good one to do. Perfect. So I'm pretty happy with how this playlist looks. The last step is to get it on the TV screen is to assign it to my hardware, which is the device that we send you in the mail and you plug into the TV screen. So right now you can see I don't have any piece of hardware assigned uh, to this playlist. So we're going to go down here and press the blue plus button, which will open a drawer of all the hardware that I have assigned to my account. You can assign as many pieces of hardware to each playlist as you want. This is really great because you can assign it to the one right in front of your desk, you can assign it to the one down the hall, you can assign it to one in China if you want. Whatever you want, wherever you want this media to appear, you just click on the right hardware piece and then click add. Perfect. Just like that, my playlist is created. I customized the background picture and the widget color, and I picked the hardware that I want this playlist to play on. So just go ahead and click the yellow save button. And that's how you create a custom playlist using the media that you created and assign it to hardware to play on your screen.